Okay, so I'm doing my air question more specifically now on volcanoes. I started off like with the whole Cascade Range, and now I've decided to just do like the major volcanoes of the Cascade Range. And so my sources from this, I'm starting uh, books first. So there's this book. It's called Volcano Geodesy, Ge whatever, in the Cascade Arc, and it looks really cool. It just talks about all the uh, major volcanoes and just um, more information about those. Um, I'd like to figure out how to like pirate this or something because I really don't want to pay forty bucks for it. But um, that's kind of like a backup. My other main book I've got is Geology of the Pacific Northwest, and I'm going to pick it up from the library today. I just put a hold on it, and I kind of looked at the abstract on this, and it just talks about geology in general, but it says there's a chapter or two about um, the specific volcanoes of the Cascades, and I think I'm going to incorporate that into, uh, where is it? more of like the cultural stuff of like how the volcano how volcanoes have impacted the northwest in like culture with native life and people worried about if the volcanoes are going to destroy the pacific northwest and that kind of ties back to i don't have it open but the the new yorker article we read about the really big one where it's like volcanoes are gonna explode as a result of the Cascadia Fault and all that. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use that article as well. I don't have it pulled up, but um, yeah. This is an article about why the volcanoes in the Cascades have been so quiet lately, as you know, as the title says. And it talks about um, pretty much volcano technicals and like how that's going to work. This is some more Cascadia earthquake stuff, um, like the other article. Yeah, it's pretty much just more like the ins and outs of like how volcanoes work and then like specifically our volcanoes and why they haven't been erupting recently. I think that's going to use that somehow. I'm sorry, I forgot about the assignments. There's not a whole lot of planning going on here. but um, This is another journal type deal. Not journal, but a uh, thing I hope to use about more of the same, more of the same, um, how our volcanoes are different from like the stereotypical like volcano on an island sort of deal like in Hawaii and um, what's gonna happen if they erupt fun stuff like that this is uh, web uh, a website an article by the uh, US Geological Service and it just talks about specifically the Cascade volcanoes there's a couple more links uh, throughout here about volcanoes in particular and um, what each of them could do if they erupt and which zones they affect and the ins and outs of them. Uh, some couple topics I think I'd like to use here as kind of like main, uh, this is main points. This has been a good website I think to start like a base of my paper like Cascade, like the volcanoes have erupted, they're going to do it again. Um, the risk of having a having so much population around all these volcanoes like eventually it's going to be a big problem when they do explode uh, yeah like this right here and then my last is down i'm going to use obviously like these pictures here but i think more so this guy and then i don't think i have it in here but it's basically a picture that looks like this we're talking about how i'm going to do a picture like this in conjunction go away uh, with stuff like this. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've got a couple more sources to dig up. This is kind of last minute because I forgot about it. But um, oh yeah, and I think for my my site visit, where to go? I'm gonna try and go to Mount Rainier. I think in the coming weekend. I think maybe Easter weekend, like Sunday Monday. I'm gonna drive out to Mount Rainier. I've just gotta get a friend who wants to go and has a car because I don't. So pretty much I'm going to sucker some, one of my friends into going with me and just pay for gas and it's going to be great. My site visit will be something like that. Just go and like see what's up. I think it would be way cooler than interviewing somebody. But if not, I'll find like a geologist here at Eastern or um, 
somewhere in the area to interview. And yeah.